Hey there Internet Keeve here and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you a hack that you can do for just about every phone can in the world to make it auto mix ready. These are auto metering tips. Basically these are used throughout industries to regulate the flow through siphon tubes and stuff like that. Big car washes out of their big containers and everything. They use these to make sure they're measuring the exact amount of soap going in to dilute with the water. These are available on the Griot's Garage website. So before we get any further, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We've got some great content on the channel, some great content coming along the way. Let's get right into the foam cannons. So here's the top for the Brilliant Finish. As you can see, it has the weighted ball at the end, but this has the one from the Boss Foam Cannon. For just about any electric pressure washer, I would always suggest the purple tip that works really well. As you can see, there's an orifice right there on the weighted tip, and this fits in there perfectly. But I've heard they drilled that out to where this won't fit. But like I said, you can put stuff around it, heat shrink, anything to make it a little bit bigger to stuff in there. But you could also do this. So the top on a brilliant finish is really small. So this actually fits slightly over the cap. So depending on how the cap is built, that depends on how you're going to do this. This one allows you to do it this way so it fits in there nice and snug. That's perfect. Then we're just going to put this back on right over top. That's gonna regulate your flow and that's gonna allow you to auto mix. So this is the MJJC version one top. I have MJJC version two, but I didn't wanna mess with it. Uh, so we're gonna mess with this one. But the tube is a little less pliable. The weighted ball at the end is just too small. And there's a plastic piece that's kinda of stuck in the tube here and it doesn't allow you to do anything there. So we're gonna to have to go to the top on this. Now I'm using a pink tip in this one because I don't wanna to have to switch the tips back and forth. I'm gonna use all three colors, blue, pink. I believe pink is made for gas pressure washers, so this may foam slightly different. Now since this tip is pretty recessed in there and it's much larger than the Brilliant Finish, you can't fit this over. So really you could do it this either way. It doesn't really matter. I prefer to do it the same way that I did it on the Brilliant. It's just easier to stuff in the tube like this. It's also easier to get it out pinching it this way, working it out of the tube if you need to get it out. So you don't have to stuff it in very far. You just get the tube right at the top and then just use the tube to force around that tip, making sure the tube goes all the way to the end. And there we go. We have our metered tip within the siphon tube. Another popular one, the PF22.2. So this tube is slightly different, doesn't have a weighted ball. It's definitely not as flexible. The cap is much smaller on this one. This one I used a lot. This one's definitely got a little bit of corrosion inside. I haven't cleaned it out. But the orifice on this is much larger and not as long. Still fits in there nice and snug because the wall is thicker, not necessarily the orifice itself. And then we're gonna use the orifice and the tube to force around the tip. And there we go. So we have the three set up. And I would say this is gonna work for the majority of all the ones in the world. I can't say 100% sure because maybe some regulators don't like that. Maybe they want better flow, who knows. But for six, seven bucks from Griots, you can order the color, they give you like six tips. I also have an armor all one here. I may take one of these tubes off, slide it on there and then see how it works. It doesn't foam as great, but we can see how it auto mixes. Has that seat all the way up against the steering wheel. It decides to rain the minute I do this. So I'm gonna put this in the garage and run the hose up here. So for this, we are gonna run our filtered water through here. Then we're gonna run our pipe. I do have my shutoff valve on this side that I use in all the videos. It's like seven bucks on Amazon. It's lasted me well over a year. I've been using it twice a week. It's still perfect. We have our SGS 28 gun and our 3H inch hose that we've already reeled out. Other than that, let's get onto the foam cannons. So I've actually filmed foam in the car a couple of times already, and I'm realizing the top does work, but if you can, if you can fit it at the bottom, that is the best location. So I did that with the arm roll later in the video. As you can see the tip on the PF22.2 you can see how perfect that fits. Now in the arm roll, it doesn't fit. It goes all the way in the tube, but I do think this is the best way to do it. You can do it either way, but if you do it at the top, it gets stuck further down and it's harder to get out of the tube. So I use my wonder wrench here on the 916 14 millimeter. I put it all the way on and then it swivels so I can have leverage to 
take off. <laughs> I just threw it everywhere. To take off the quick disconnect. So you see the orifice in there, it's a flathead. I could take it out just to check to make sure it's a 1.1 and then I'll put it back in and use this exact same one in all of the foam cannons. So we have our brilliant finish. It's all ready to go. The container's on. The tip is at towards the top where the cap is. We have the 1.1 orifice tip in here. Now this is not a test of how well these things foam because I will sacrifice a little bit of thickness in foam if I don't ever have to measure my dilutions again. So let's try this out and get all wet. Now, this rainy weather out here has made it much harder for me to keep the foam thick, but you can see it's covering the entire car. It's a nice, consistent foam, perfect for washing cars. And you can see, we still have more than half of what we put in there. Pretty cool. All right, so MJJC Pro. This is the best foaming foam can that you can get out there. The only thing that pushed the billion finish over it for me was the fact that it was a cheaper price and it had auto mixing and it was really light. That's really the only con of this to that is that it's just not as light. But if you can get this thing to auto mix, then this is the, the king. There's just nothing better than it. So this is Boss Foam Cannon uh, container. There's a 500 milliliter mark right there. So we should be, you know, here-ish, I would think. And then after the arm roll, we should be down to about here. That would prove that they both auto mix just right. I actually think we're gonna use less soap than that. But this one right here should be the thickest of all of them. You can see right here is where the 500 milliliter mark is. We've gone down to right there. Less than I thought. I thought we'd be a little bit further down, but we didn't even use, uh, I think we used about 50 milliliters of soap or so. And I've heard a lot of people say the MJJC uses way more uh, product, but I've never had that issue. I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe if you really thin it out, it might pull a little bit faster, but on a siphon like this on Automix, it pulls just normal. All right, so something you haven't seen on this channel a while, the PF22.2. It's just not a fan of the small neck. That's what really got me to really like the MJJC more, and plus how well it foams and everything. It's still a great unit overall. Here's where we are on the measurements. So we're right about the 225 mark or so. We're less than 250, uh, but I definitely would like after this to be above where the uh, container kind of bevels in. Uh, I'd like to be probably about right here. So let's see how well it does. Okay, so we've encountered a slight issue here. It's not that it's not working, it's that the tube on the PF22.2, which is another reason I hate it, is curved like this. So it's going this way and I'm tilting the bottle like this so the tube is not picking up any soap, which is why the weighted ball with a flexible tube is the best way to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with more soap, see how it goes. Okay, so let's try this again. We are at the 500 milliliter mark, so I expect to be somewhere right around here. We'll see how it goes. Now we all know the PF22.2 is an amazing foaming producer. It's just not my favorite because of some of the quirks about it. But uh, a lot of people love it and it used about 50 milliliters of soap, about what all the other ones used. Just awesome that you're able to do this. Now obviously the consistency, the concentration of the soap is gonna depend whether you wanna turn this knob a little bit and tone the foam down. So the Armor Roll Foam Cannon and all of my tests, this is the least performing foamer, so I'm thinking this one might struggle. It'll still work, it'll still foam, but you're not gonna get as well as you could get on a diluted solution, I believe. Let's see how it works. So with the Armor All, about what I expected, it actually foamed 
pretty decent. A lot of people would say that this is the way it should be and not too thick, but uh, it never got really thick in the initial testing using whatever dilution ratio I had. So this is maybe just a little bit less than what it could do. Um, on the other ones probably as well, but I'm telling you, man, this is, woo. This worked really well. I did have to change to the purple tip in this one because the pink tip, it was doing nothing. It was, it was really struggling. So with the purple tip, I would suggest that for any electric pressure washer, unless you're using some massive commercial unit, uh, that's what you would need. So we picked up where we left off with the other one. You can see we've moved down to just at this little concave right here. So we used maybe about 50 milliliters of soap, which is great. Uh, most people would put 100, 150 in there. So with one like this without a weighted ball, you could do this on a PF22.2. I actually think it's better that way too. So I initially had it at the top, but as you can see, it's much better at the bottom because it's easier to get the tip out of the tube uh, and it just works better that way rather than having it all the way at the top, you know, a quarter inch further into the tube. It's a lot harder to try to work it out. Now, if you have a weighted ball at the end, that is a great feature to have. I would not remove that just to put the tip at the end, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, or you could find some way to take the weighted ball that's currently there, drill it out or whatever to make it fit. Or if the tube is too big, wrap the tip in electrical tape or whatever you need to get it to fit. So I hope this helped you show the true potential of your foam cannon. Hopefully it worked. If it didn't, then you're only out six or seven dollars if so. Uh, some people, this is not for you. I mean, if you use five, six different types of soap, you only have one foam can, then this isn't exactly what you would want to do. But if you have several foam cans, or you're only using one soap, or you have two foam cans and two soaps, then you're good to go that way. Uh, you can use the dial at the top to change your dilution ratios and change the amount of foam that you're gonna get. I think it worked out awesome. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. For just about any electric process, for just about any electric process, for just about any electric Oh my gosh. For just about any electric pressure washer. So sweet up to you whether you want to put it in there. The large. So sweet up to you whether you want to put the large tip. So it's really up to you where you want to put. Oh my gosh. So it's really up to you where we want to put the large top. So it's really up to you whether you want to pee. Oh my gosh. Now I, I have to. Because maybe some air regulator. Now we have three of these. Now we have the three. Now we have the three set up. We also have the Bria. Our container on the 200 millimeters. We have our brilliant food. I really hope this helped you realize. I hope you helped. So this is gonna work. Oh my god. So this is gonna work on all foam cannons out there. So you saw late so you saw later in the video. So you saw later in the video and I actually put a clip further and automix. Stop it! Every five minutes it does it once, and it does it every single time that I'm talking.